Marine life, sea life, or ocean life is the plants, animals and other organisms that live in the salt water of the sea or ocean, or the brackish water of coastal estuaries. At a fundamental level, marine life affects the nature of the planet. Marine organisms, mostly microorganisms, produce oxygen and sequester carbon. More than 200,000 marine species have been documented, and perhaps 2 million marine species are yet to be documented. Marine species range in size from the microscopic like phytoplankton, which can be as small as 0.02 micrometers, to huge cetaceans like the blue whale, the largest known animal, reaching 33 meters 108 feet in length. Coral reefs are the most diverse of all marine ecosystems. They teem with life, with perhaps one quarter of all ocean species depending on reefs for food and shelter. This is a remarkable statistic when you consider that reefs cover just a tiny fraction, less than 1% of the Earth's surface and less than 2% of the ocean bottom. Because they are so diverse, coral reefs are often called the rainforests of the sea. More than 200,000 marine species have been documented, and perhaps 2 million marine species are yet to be documented. Marine species range in size from the microscopic like phytoplankton, which can be as small as 0.02 micrometers, to huge cetaceans like the blue whale, the largest known animal, reaching 33 meters 108 feet in length. The earliest vertebrates appeared in the form of fish which live exclusively in water. Some of these evolved into amphibians, which spend portions of their lives in water and portions on land. One group of amphibians evolved into reptiles and mammals and a few subsets of each returned to the ocean as sea snakes, sea turtles, seals, manatees, and whales. Plant forms such as kelp and other algae grow in the water and are the basis for some underwater ecosystems. Plankton forms the general foundation of the ocean food chain, particularly phytoplankton which are key primary producers. All fish swim, however not in the same way. Stales such as mackerel, herring and sprat, can swim fast for a fairly long time. Cod, haddock, sole and plice are sprinters, they swim quickly for a short period of time. This difference is easy to see in the muscles. The muscles of stales are red, a sign of good circulation with lots of oxygen. Sprinters have white muscles and are quickly exhausted. Herring, mackerel and sprat are surface feeders and live in the upper water column, usually in large schools. Their food consists of plankton or small fish. These, open water, fish are called pelagic fish. They often have a camouflage color in order not to be too conspicuous for their enemies, a green-blue back and a silver-white belly. This makes it difficult for seabirds looking down into a green-blue water surface to distinguish them, and for other predator fish to see them when looking up against the bright light above. They swim in schools because they are better protected against predator fish and because it costs them less energy. A fish makes use of the turbulence in the water current induced by those swimming ahead. Benthic fish, such as plice and sole, live on the seafloor and eat benthic animals and small species of fish. For better camouflage, they often develop a color pattern similar to the seabed where they reside. Turbot are even able to change their color to fit in with the surroundings. Benthic fish will dig themselves into the upper layer of sand. Predator fish feed on smaller fish. They hunt near the bottom cod and haddock, as well as close to the water surface garfish, European sea base and whiting. They are well equipped for their role as predator, being fast swimmers with a large mouth and often sharp teeth slanting backward.
Jellyfish are found all over the world, from surface waters to the deep sea. Cyphozoans, the true jellyfish, are exclusively marine, but some hydrozoans with a similar appearance live in freshwater. Large, often colorful, jellyfish are common in coastal zones worldwide. whale, any of the larger species of aquatic mammals belonging to the order Cetacea. The term whale can be used in reference to any cetacean, including porpoises and dolphins, but in general it is applied to those more than 3 meters 10 feet long. An exception is the 2.7 meters dwarf sperm whale Kogia simus, so called for its otherwise striking resemblance to its larger namesake. Whales are the heaviest known animals, living or fossil, reaching a maximum size in the blue whale Pulinoptera musculus, of perhaps more than 30 meters and 200 metric tons, 220 short, US tons.